Hi, I'm James Rivera's mom. Um, Dion Smith now from Stockton, California. Uh, it's been two years since my son had passed. We still have not seen, received justice. Um, a report came out regarding my son's case, and the officers was justified by killing my son because they said my son had backed up um, onto the officers, which we know that's not true. Um, I've been researching. I've been on the internet, and I've also been reading the coroner's report and the 27-page report. Um, all that is not accurate, and the DA is supposed to be accurate, whatever he put in his report. Hmm. My son was not 17, and the next day he was 18. My son was 16, and the next day he would have been 17. My son died at the age of 16, not at the age of 17. Um, they also said my son had outstanding warrants and felonies. That's a false. Because if he has um, outstanding warrants and felonies, he was not be able to go to camp. Hmm. Because the camp have, is a program for six months to 12 month program, and it's a rehabilitation program. So that's, that, that didn't make sense. Um, as well as they said my son was only shot nine times. That's a lie. Um, they said they did not use the AR-15. That's a lie. They used the RA-15, and John Nesbitt, the, the first bullet that hit my son was in the head, and that was the RA-15. The AR-15 yeah, that hit him in the head. Um, they said they could not, on the report from the autopsy, they couldn't even term it death. And if I'm not mistaken, at 12 o'clock news that they said my son had passed, I mean my son had passed away. But I got the report said he supposed to have passed away at 1210. That's a fib because my son passed away because I was there when my son did not move because I was on the scene. And that's so ignorant because they keep saying they was trying to find the mother. How could you find something that's in your face? Huh. You know, and then they turned around and said that I was removed from the hospital by seven officers. That was a fib because I never was removed from the hospital. As a lot of stuff that's in the report is not accurate. And so I've decided to do is I'm having a meeting in Stockton on the 15th. And I'm going to be organizing where I'm going to be raising money to find out how do I get the justice uh, project. So I want to go in there to be able to resume my son's body. Resume my son's body. And I want to do my own research. And I'm going to have to do my own research because when my city went bankrupt, you know, the lawyers and everybody that we thought that was on our team, you know, when you broke, Everybody turn their head and go to another case. So now I see that I have to fight even harder now. We support you. We got your back. We support your family. We'll never forget. And the struggle. So I have to fight here. and use all my skills that I have to get justice for my son. I wish I did live out in Oakland because I maybe get a lot of support. But I'm going to fight and I'm going to educate myself as well as going down this journey. A lot of stuff I don't know how to read and write that good with the, the stuff, but I'm going to find a way. And I am going to get justice for James. If it takes me a year later or two or three years, I am going to get justice. I am going to prove what happened to my son that day. They murdered my son. My son was no threat to himself. My son loved it, life. All my kids, we love life. We love people. They did not murder my son the way they did. Then the officer just killed a man Thursday in the gunfight. John Nesbitt, the one that also shot James with the AR-15, he was just in the paper Thursday, and they had an article about him and my son. And they said in the article that John Nesbitt and the other guy was shooting, and then they turned around and said that the guy shot himself. How could he shoot himself when it was a two-minute gunfire in mm -hmm. Stockton? So if you can go in there, I brought the article as well. You can read the article. I have brought it with me. But Stockton is corrupt, and mm -hmm. we need a, a, a big um, investigation for the whole city because there's too many killings. They just killed the man on 99. We done had like four killings in September, and it's not even the, uh, the end of September. We're still in the beginning. And there's too many killings, 
and these same officers is riding around in our community is still killing they just beat a young man up his mom just i just talked to his mom on my before i got here that's what made us a little late but they broke his um he's in the county jail and they want me to go out there with them to visit him but it's corrupt so if y'all can come and support us we're going to be in stockton september 15th um it's on bianca my husband will give you the address it's in my phone but we're going to come out and we're going to try to get out some of our people in our community to build a forum for why we can be able to fight back with good support because we cannot continue to let this happen and stop.